Welcome back to AP Precalculus in under 3 minutes. No time for intros, let's get into it. So you might be wondering, why did we start this unit solving sine, cosine, and tangent, but never talk about the tangent graph? Well my friends, it's because tangent is a little strange of a graph. Let's look at the unit circle but only with tangent solutions. We get these solutions off of the original unit circle by knowing tangent is equal to sine over cosine. You notice tangent is not defined at pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. That simply means tangent cannot exist at those two points, which would make vertical asymptotes on the graph. If you were to graph all of the tangent points on the graph, it would look like this. Look at all those vertical asymptotes. You notice that the graph goes to positive and negative infinity and looks real fun. This is the parent tangent graph, f of theta is equal to tangent of theta. The period is not 2 pi, but rather now pi. The way you find it is to find the horizontal distance from x intercept to x intercept. The skeleton equation is basically the same from sinusoidal functions. D is your midline. You'll notice the graph changes from concave down to concave up once it passes the midline. C is your phase shift. As for B, since the parent function has a period now that is pi, b is now equal to pi over the period for only tangent functions. And now that gets us to a. You'll notice on the tangent graph that it goes to positive and negative infinity. Since the amplitude is the distance from the midline to the maximum, what the heck is the amplitude now? Well here it is. On the horizontal axis, look between two x-intercepts, then divide that quadrant by 4 and find what the point is. Here it is 1. The amplitude is whatever the distance between your midline and the y-point here is. So in this example, it is 1. I hope that makes sense. Look from x-intercept to x-intercept, divide by 4, then find the y-coordinate of that point. Find the distance between the middle line and that y-point, and that's your amplitude. And though I of course have no knowledge on what might be on your exam this year, when I took the AP Precalculus exam, there was not a single question on the tangent graph. So you know, it might not be that important to know. On the screen now are some AP-style questions for this topic. Pause now. I'll put the answers on the screen now. I will see you in the next one.